What's good, everybody? It is your boy Cab back with another Xenoverse 2 DLC 12 paid update video. Yes, you heard that right. Paid update. As you see on the screen, we got the man's God of Destruction, Topo, and PyCon as well. And what we're going to be doing in this video right here is a full on showcase with these characters showing their combos, skills, all things like that, and then taking them online. For some rank matches as well. Now, one thing I do want to mention before I get into this video, guys, is that I will be live on the website link down below in the description that starts with a T, ends with a an H, and I will be showcasing the parallel quest and these characters in that stream as well. So if you guys want to come through, get a look at the parallel quest, and basically just chill with your boy as well, be sure to do so. Now, getting back to this, again, what we're going to be doing is showcasing these characters, but the first thing I do want to look at with these characters before we go into training mode is their actual stats and their skills as well. So taking a look at Topo's skills, guys, as you see, he does only have three new skills, Destructive Fracture, Destructive Flare, and Destructive Fission as his ultimate, but he also comes with Arm Crash, Max Charge, and full power energy wave really don't know why he comes with arm crash considering that they just nerfed this move heavily like it's not nearly as good as it used to be full power energy wave is just a move sadly that is a lot of, on a lot of dlc characters um but again he only comes with three brand new skills now he does have another preset but it's one i just don't see people using because it takes off one of his new skills in destructive fission and puts on power rush like i, I just don't get that i don't know why they would do that and take off his brand new move for a move that's already been in the game. Why not take off full power energy wave and put power rush in that slot as opposed to where destructive fission was. So again, just really do not see many people using this preset. Now, as far as his stats go, guys, he has really high key blast stats, hell, um, high health stats, and high overall key. Now, he really, really lacks in stamina. Basic attack is not the highest, and his strike damage is not the highest either. Pretty much the opposite to PyCon, as you can see. PyCon doesn't have the greatest health, nor key, but he has insane stamina, has really good basic attack, really high strike, and pretty decent key blast uh, supers as well. Now, PyCon also only comes with three brand new skills with Hyper Tornado, Burning Shot, and Thunder Flash. So those are the only skills that PyCon comes with. He also has Energy Wave Combo, Max Charge, and Reverse Mabusenko. But again, those are really the only three new skills that we have with this character, which is just kind of sad because most other characters in the past were coming with like four or five brand new um, skills, especially in recent DLC. So again, that part does kind of suck. But again, we're going to showcase both of these characters full on in this video. Skills, combos, all things of that nature. So let's jump straight into it. All right, y'all, like I said, we are going to get this showcase started with the man's Topo himself. And, of course, getting it started, we are going to take a look at his combos. Let's take a look at his All Light first and foremost. And as you guys see with his All Light, you get 3,535 damage, but it does have, like, a bit of a stagger thing at the end of it. And I've pretty much tested it where I've been spamming the Light button afterwards. And sometimes the combo extends onto 14, sometimes it does not. So it's not really something that's consistent and there's no way you can like super dash or anything like that. You can key cancel afterwards to try to extend, but really what I see it being good for and that combo is to use like his moves like Destructive Fracture, for example. Destructive Fracture is a really, really short range move and that combo is basically the perfect way to go into it. So again, um, even though that stagger seems like you would be able to extend a combo fairly easily, it does not really give you that ability and it's more in my opinion for the setup of like a destructive fracture like I said. Now taking a look at some of his other combos, this is his 5 light 3 heavy and as you see that does 4248 damage. Now taking a look at a 6 light, this is a 6 light 4 heavy. And this one does 5,808 damage. So even though he doesn't have the highest basic attack in the world in terms of his actual stat, you can still get some good damage with some combos like that 6 light, 4 heavy, um, or you can do something like this. That right there, guys, is a 6 light, 1 heavy, 1 light, 1 heavy, doing 6,000 
uh, 516 total damage. So again, even though he does not have the highest attack stat like we saw, he still can do fairly good damage. Now, moving on to his um, grab, guys. His grab, sadly, is just Broly's grab like that. That was kind of disappointing when I first saw it. I'm not going to lie to you. But he does have a lot of stamina breaks. On the other hand, he literally has so many because there's just so many points in his combos where he has like heavy hits that he could go off. First and foremost, he does have the basic five light into the uh, light break. Like that's a universal stamina break that you should always try with any character when you are testing out um, stamina breaks and trying to find them for new characters and things like that. Because again, it's pretty universal and does work with most characters within this game. But again, Topo does have more than that. Like he literally um, can stamina break in so many positions. Like you saw how long that stagger was right there, guys, after the six light. I messed it up right there, but that stagger is extremely, extremely long and leaves an opportunity for a stamina break as well, as you can see. So again, he just has a lot of options where he can stamina break his opponent. Really depends on whether you're trying to get a quick stamina break or trying to add in some additional damage or things along those lines to where you actually want to use the stamina break for topo against your opponents now with all that being showcased let's look at his skills his new skills at least we did already see destructive fracture um again it is a very very close range move i do like the move though it has the disrespect factors first it gives that like gut slash dick punch grabs you by the face completely has palm over your face just dangling you like a child and then kicks you in the dick away at the end like the move is just really really disrespectful and i absolutely love it can't wait to see how much damage it does on a strike base cac because strike um skills are not something that topo really has the best stat for now destructive flare is a move that has two different damage outputs and it's very very quick at the same time before we even look at the second damage output look how quick this move gets on your opponent from far like look at those the, 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 the little blasts coming out they are literally instantaneous this is a move that i thought would be like used up close but it can be used off a of knockaway or anything like that because again the move comes out instantaneous look how fast it hits off of the knockaway so that move is something that is really good for knockaways knockdowns and really easy to combo into but it also does have a charge variation where you can get 6700 uh 6676 damage as opposed to just the 3946 damage you'll get with the regular version now i did try to do like a medium charge the damage does not increase at all it only has two different damage outputs so that is something also to keep in mind with that move now moving on to his destructive vision this move guys is really really interesting um it's really better to be used up close during a stamina break does really good damage though as you guys see at 15,207 damage it is also a four key bar move it only takes four key bars and that is really really good damage honestly for four key bars but the thing that's interesting about this move is it has like insane range but in an insanely slow way like look at this move it's literally gonna go all the way over to trunks like i can fly faster than this move can can continue to go but eventually it does get to its opponent the thing i'm curious about is like if you use it in an online setting or something like that and say your opponent is not in a position where they can like punish you say you knock them away or knock them down and then throw this move out will this move like just continue to track them throughout the match or will it just go in a straight line endlessly and like go off into the stands or out of the map and just explode at some point? So that's something I'm really interested in when it comes to that move without doubt. But those are all the new things when it comes to Topo, guys. So now we're going to switch on over to PyCon and do the same thing and then take both of these characters online for some rank matches. All right, y'all, here we go with the man's PyCon now and the full-on showcase just like we did for Topo. So let's get it started the same way with the all-light combo. And as you guys see, his all light combo does 4,336 damage. Now, the all heavy, on the other hand, you got 4,341 damage. Now, looking at some light and heavies, just some basic ones, the five light, three heavy, you get 4,820. Now, this combo right here, guys, is a six light, one heavy, one light, one heavy, doing 6,689 damage. Now, if you do a six light, four heavy, I believe. Yeah, 4 Heavy, you get 5,783. So that same knockdown animation as the 5 Light 3 Heavy. But his most powerful or damaging combo, I guess you could say, is this right here. Wait. 
No, I'm, wait, no. Okay, it's not supposed to be too light. Hold on, I mean too heavy. I'm messing, hold on. I keep messing up the combo. What's going on here? There we go. That right there, guys, is a five light, one heavy, one light, one heavy, one light, one heavy. Doing 7,231 damage. So his basic combos do have pretty good damage to them without doubt. Especially that one right there. I mean, if you get over 7k with a basic combo, that is, that's just really good. So um, that's all the basic combos that we are going to showcase for this man. Taking a quick look at his grab. As you see, it does 1,929 damage. Now moving on to his actual moves, though. Hyper Tornado, first to start it out. As you guys see, if you just use that move regularly and just like press it one time, it does 1,716 damage. But if you hold the move down, it extends and does much more damage. Plus, it does not take away key, which is very interesting. For a move that's held down and goes on longer like this, most of them take more key the longer you hold it. This one does not. So that's definitely something interesting to keep in mind. Now, one other thing about this combo, it does seem to put your opponent into like that like infinite state, basically where they get um, stamina back faster. So you are getting more damage for it, but they are getting stamina back a bit quicker when you do use it. So do keep that in mind with that move. Now, the next move is Burning Shot. This may be a move that I may have something else and in terms of inputs, like I've tried doing it in different ways, in different directions. I haven't gotten nothing. We won't really know for sure, for sure, until it's unlocked from the Parallel Quest, which again, I will be grinding the Parallel Quest live on the website link down below in the description. But until we unlock the skill for sure, we won't know if it has like additional input inputs or other ways to do it or anything like that. But right now, it honestly, Burning Shot just really seems very, very generic. I'm not going to lie to you, like just very very generic there's no combo extension possibility or anything like that like your opponent see he recovers very very quickly so again it's not the greatest move to be honest in the world but it may have more to it like i said now the last move obviously is his ultimate with thunder flash now thunder flash is a move that i will have to judge more when i get it on an actual cac because he does not have the highest key blast stat in the world and you're only getting as you guys see 8,768 damage. That is not that much at all. And this move does have a fairly slow startup to it as well. So if the damage is not great on a CAC, overall PyCon's moves are kind of underwhelming besides Hyper Tornado. Like Hyper Tornado seems to be pretty good um, in terms of damage, especially for a strike skill. So the other two skills right now, I'm kind of on the fence about Burning Shot. Would have to see if there's additional inputs to it potentially or anything like that. And then Thunder Flash, have to see how much damage it would do on a key base character or a key base CAC, I should say. So that's how I feel about PyCon's moves in general. But the last thing we are going to show, guys, I forgot to show this, is some stamina breaks. He does have the um, simple, um, okay, I messed that up. He does have the simple five light um, light stamina break, the universal one that pretty much every character in the game for the most part has. I would say like 75 to 80% of the characters do have that. But he also can do this. Wow, I keep messing the things up. He can do a five light, one heavy into a stamina break as well if you would like to do something like that. Maybe for a little bit more additional damage or something along those lines. But he is a character, as you can see, he does have multiple stamina breaks, has the universal one. He has that one right there, and he may even have more. Haven't really tested him out for more stamina breaks besides those two. But overall, that is the showcase for PyCon. Now, like I said, we are going to take these characters online. And as you guys know, when we go online, we go in strong. So, let's get it. All right, y'all, here we go with the first match, and we got to bring the man's topo out. Now, I'm not going to lie. This dude, Cash, is probably like, yo, what is going on right now? Like, how does he have, like, he's probably thinking I'm a, I'm a hacker or something along those lines. Because, I mean, that's what I would think, to be honest. Like, it, it, I, I literally have DLC dummy early. What, what else would you think? Like, at the time of me recording this, it is 11.15 in the morning. The DLC doesn't even come out in America for another 12 hours and 45 minutes. Okay, this dude's just spamming moves while I'm like talking and not paying attention come here my boy oh, 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 oh! no i literally pressed i literally pressed the vanish why didn't i vanish hello come here you have no stamina I i'm tired of you oh i can't stamina break off that hit okay okay it's, it's one it's one heavy it's one heavy it's one heavy keep that in mind not no good damn it I literally tried to evade that, but I missed. 
No, come here. Oh, come here. Oh, my God. That stamina break is so rude. Oh, oh, oh. I, I oh. Can I? Oh, see, okay, see, after this, after that move, it's kind of slow, um, in terms of, like, what you can do afterwards, you're kind of just left standing there, I was literally trying to extend into the destructive flare, it didn't work out too great, but, oh, do you think a Super Saiyan Blue is gonna help you? You need Blue Evolution, my boy, Blue is not, what, what, none, you confused that, come on, game, I know I'm big as hell, but, like, Jesus, come here, come here, huh. no, oh, Take that! I, I love this character so far. Even though he doesn't have like a lot of stamina or anything like that, I really like some of his combos. Like the way they feel when you're hitting someone, it's just like bam, bang, damn. Like oh, I, I do like characters. Even though I'm not a heavy fan in Xenoverse, like I don't like many of the heavies. When you have those hits that like just shake the screen and like just oh, it's so satisfying. I'm not gonna lie to you. But alright, that was the first match right there with the man's Topo. Now let's move on to the second match with the homie Pycon. Alright y'all, here we go now with the man's Pycon. <laughs> Honestly, I think Pycon may end up being the better overall character just due to stats. Like having a little bit under 6 bars of stamina is going to be a little bit hurtful for the man's Topo. Not going to lie. But type uh, Pycon, I couldn't even get my man's uh, name right. Pycon, I'm actually now that I'm thinking about it, he doesn't really have much besides energy wave combo to like connect with something like this because hyper tornado does not it's not like something you use off a of knockaway or anything at least i haven't tested it and i wouldn't think it would be actually we can try that right here come here damn it attack me what i literally sidestepped that xeno attack me oh you can oh and look at the stamina gain the stamina gain was not big Okay, so that's actually really good. Like, watch. Look at his stamina gain. His stamina gain is not coming back at all. It starts to come back fast on the second part. On the second part where PyCon turns the tornado, like, at a vertical angle, that's when the stamina starts to come back, like, as if they were in an infinite combo. So that's very interesting and something to note about that move. And the fact that you can use it off a of knockaway is honestly really good because it gives him more options, um, to be honest. I, if it was just a close-range move, he would really only have energy wave combo for like knockaways and knockdowns that weren't close to their opponent. So again, guys, these are the two characters that we did get for DLC 12. Let me know what you think of them at this point in time after seeing them through the showcase and the online matches and all things like that. And which character out of the two are you more excited for and you think will be better down the line once people have played and gotten used to them. So let me know your thoughts on all that down below in the comments. But as always, man, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, hope you have a good day.